The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 8.30 a.m. Tuesday morning, 60 minutes to go until that opening bell. And we got markets slightly in the red to kick things off. Quite a day yesterday, of course, record territory for the NASDAQ. S&P is reaching a price level of 3297 the futures overnight. We'll take a look at the S&P started off the highs at around 3 o'clock in the morning, 3297. We trade down to 3272 about 3273.50. We make another low just a half hour ago. We're looking at 5 minute bars here on this chart, the low of 3271. We're about 4 points off of that level. 3275 in the S&Ps, you're about 125 points from all-time highs. NASDAQ, quite the day yesterday, 11,092 in the futures, similar time frame last evening at about 3 in the morning. Then we trade off from 11,092 down below 11,000, so down about 100 points to 10,000. 992 and we're right at 11,000 as we speak. The Dow negative 67 points right now, 26,491. We got gold up $8.1994 right now. You take a look at gold, the lows basically 1983. We were there about 7:15 in the morning, back there at that level at about 7:45. We're up about $10 from that price level. Silver up about six cents at $24.47. And notes and bonds, the trend continues higher price and lower yield. Check out the acceleration in that 10 year, 140.05. You're up about seven and a half ticks. The 30 year up 27 ticks at 182.14. The highest that we had on Friday, 140.06. You put this on a daily chart. And as you can see, the spike high coordinate, uh, correlating to the market lows back in March, 140.24. And you're looking at a bond yield right now, the 10-year note, 0.531%. Quite a number on that 10-year, 140.05, now well above the highs that we had in place since that March spike in the note. We'll jump over to the VIX this morning. Talk about backing down to lower prices. Now this I've talked about as well. We are now below any of these lows, folks, 23. Look at this jumping around this VIX. Let me zoom in here. So as you can see, the lows, 2354, early June, 2492, July 6, 2355. That was Friday, 2338 right now, folks. And we actually got to a low yesterday, 2217. I had that notated from Monday's report, putting this on. And there you go, quite the little drop off we're getting as we see in the market right now, S&P is negative by 14, that VIX 2347 right now. All right, what else we have going on in the markets? We'll start things off. So BP, they're out with their numbers, second quarter loss, major write downs, oil been a tough, tough uh, 90 days for oil. We had negative prices at one point in the futures contracts. Second quarter, underlying replacement cost profit used as a proxy for net profit came in at a loss of $6.7 billion. That compared with a net profit of $800 million in the first quarter of the year. Company also announced it's halved its dividend. Pretty remarkable. You still got a dividend going on, right, when you're losing $6.7 billion in 90 days to $5.25 cents per share compared to 10.5 cents per share for BP. And to pull up and see how BP is trading on those numbers, is it just BP? I think it is BP. We're gonna pull up on London. There you go, spiking actually pretty much dramatically higher, up to 23.99, we're back in a bit at 23.35 right now. All right, checking into some of the FANG stocks. Of course, the headlines yesterday, Microsoft, uh, President Trump saying, why don't you just buy all of TikTok? Quite the acceleration from 199 to 217. But check out this drop off. I mean, the NASDAQ, it's going to be an interesting open this morning as you have the NASDAQ negative 44 points right at 11,000. Microsoft 
that they're going to open almost five dollars off of where they closed at yesterday. Apple slightly off of their close, four thirty-five seventy-five. We're at about four thirty-five right now. Amazon shares off a bit, about ten dollars for a thirty-one hundred dollar stock. So pretty muted reaction on Amazon. Netflix shares, Netflix up big yesterday to five oh three. We're going to open about even for Netflix. Facebook shares this morning. Down a bit from 251.96 to 251.25. We'll check out Tesla. Tesla shares 14.92 and Google shares. Come on. At about 14.70. All right. What else we got going on? How about we just talked about the yields, right? Good time to issue debt for companies. Google's owner Alphabet issues a record $10 billion bond at lowest ever price. Some of this. Some of, some of what they offered here, folks. Here we go. Of the $10 billion, the $1 billion five-year trench was issued at a coupon of less than half a percent, 0.45 percent, the lowest coupon seen at that maturity since Apple issued $1.5 billion five-year notes at that same rate in 2013, seven years apart. Investor appetite was fierce for the tech giant six-part bond as low interest rates and corporate bond buying from the Federal Reserve continues to support issuance. The deal garnered more than $31 billion in demand. Alphabet's lowest coupon was 1.25% on a $1 billion May 2014 note prior to any of this. So you go from one and a quarter in 2014, and they're issuing $10 billion in debt, and some of that they're doing at less than half a percent. Uh, last week, Alphabet reported first quarterly sales drop in 16 years. Yeah, of the big you know, tech stocks, Google, the only one actually Thursday night that opened and traded lower. You go from 1535 about to the close of Thursday. You finish out Friday action about 1480. We're sitting about 1474 for the price of Google this morning. All right, what else we got going on in the market? Home Depot, they're going to try and speed up deliveries with new distribution centers as pandemic fuels home projects. Some of these stocks, right? Home Depot shares, see how they're trading this morning, up a bit from 266.18 to 266.74. For some context in these talks. And, you know, I get questions and emails about getting into some of these positions. I mean, Apple, I got some emails when they came out with their earnings saying, you know, it's going to split four for one. Thinking about getting into it. What do you think about getting into these prices? And that depends on a lot, folks. If you're a short term trader, we all know there's got to be pullbacks, right? Apple just went from $212 to 434 um, it's a hundred percent run in the long term. You know, we talked to Kevin Hinks, fast market every day after our program at 11 a.m. Eastern time, scaling in at these prices. You know, maybe if you're going to get into Apple, you take it, you break it up into three different baskets. You, you get in with a portion of it. Now you get in a portion in six months and you get in for the final portion six months from then or something like that. And that's only if you're investing in 5, 10, 15 years, something like that. Because, yeah, there's some long-term value. But some of these stocks, Apple, Microsoft, from 130 and change to 216. Amazon shares from 1626 to 3111. Right? Remarkable action across the board. All right, folks, stay tuned. We're going to come back. We're going to take a look at Disney. We got a bunch of earnings. We have some out already this morning. Uh, take Two Interactive, they're out with their numbers, and we get Disney after the bell. We'll take a look at them as well. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. We get the S&P is negative by about 15 points for some context on where we are on this chart. Remarkable price levels, right? For a while, we were bouncing around between about 3,000 and 3,200. We climbed above that level. Pretty remarkable that we made a decisive break above that level. Really, whether it was July 16th and then on the 20th, we climb above that level. And now we're making new highs, 3,273. You put this on your chart. I mean, you're talking about the high of 3,284 from July 23rd as we've eclipsed that level and on the futures market we're dealing with a high about 120 points above that level back to February. All right, what else we got going on in the market? Interesting story out here. Whoops, there we go. Having to do with Facebook. So they are securing office space in Manhattan at a time when nobody is working in their buildings. New York, is not Manhattan? Maybe it's not Manhattan, Manhattan. I think it may be, but uh, Vernado Trust, Realty Trust, they're leasing to Facebook, and what's gonna happen, 730,000 square feet, Penn District Project. Trust has 10 million square feet of space total in that project. This company, we'll pull them up in a moment. I think it's VNO, whoops. Uh, is their symbol, let's see, VNO. Yeah, that's going to be it. So they trade from 68 to 27. Is this going to be that new story there? Whoops. And we are opening higher. I want to see what this little bubble is. Okay, they were out with their numbers too, potentially. Yeah. And there's the volatility from 33.50 to 37, 35.50. One to bring it up because it's interesting here when you have companies. Now, Facebook, they just came out and said that they're not bringing people back until July of next year i think um but you're gonna see you know when the strong during this time they're gonna be able to secure that space at an affordable price move in there planning for a post-covid environment uh facebook shares this morning at about 250.85 all right we do have some earnings uh this morning this afternoon take two interactive out with their numbers from 167.50 up to 177. We're at about 175 right now. Let's see if we can get in to see what they said. I think I have them down here. Where are they? There they are. Take two saw profit nearly double. So let's check out what they have going on. Take two interactive software raised its adjusted sales forecast, beating quarterly estimates. 
demand for its video game franchises, Grand Theft Auto, NBA 2K, from people stuck at home. Good time to be in the video game business. Shares are trading higher. Let's see, U.S. spending of video games in June surged 26% to $1.2 billion, the highest for the month in over a decade, according to research, as people turn to games for relaxation during lockdown. Let's see, Recur recurrent consumer spending on NBA 2K, 2K jumped 126% to a new record. Grand Theft Auto V V was the fourth best-selling game in June. Over 135 million units of the game have been sold since its launch in 2013. Or that's that's pretty remarkable, folks. Uh, take two also forecast adjusted sales above estimates. So pretty much across the board. Let's see. PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X version, $70. $70 video games are now. This is a very modest price increase. Yeah, I'm sure that's what they're saying. Let's see. Revenue forecast for the year ending March 2021. 2.8 billion to 2.9 from 2.55 to 2.65. And adjusted basis. First quarter revenue, 996, beating 843. Huge numbers across the board. And this stock already trading pretty well. Look at this, right? From 130 down to 100 on the dot, 100 to the penny on March 20th, my birthday. And uh, from there, we're going to open at about 175 for take two. We get Activision after the bell today, I believe. Similar story in terms of uh, a slight pullback for Activision from 65 to about 50 we're trading this morning at 80 well we closed yesterday at 85 activision probably getting a boost on those take two numbers up to 89 we're at about 86 49 right now on activision all right as i mentioned we got disney earnings after the bell today should be interesting what they have to say uh max Payne situation for the parks they're dealing with movie production um Movie theaters, right? Uh, being able to show their movies, pushing back some of the biggest movies they've had, Mulan, uh, along with a couple others, trying to make sure they can still secure that business model of releasing movies into theaters, making billions, then pushing it out to their direct-to-consumer platform. Talking about Disney Plus, I'm sure they'll be trying to highlight the growth that they've had on Disney Plus. We'll see if the market's ready to listen. Uh, we'll see what happens. Florida, pretty encouraging numbers for COVID for the last couple of days. Disney, I'm sure would like to see those numbers continue to come down as they try and have parks open in Florida, California, one of the state's hardest hit as well. Uh, we'll see, there's a lot of variants in the weekend in Florida, especially because we're gonna get storms coming in. We do have storms coming in, right? Especially on the other coast. So you have those numbers a little bit, a lot of variants gonna be in there. We'll see what happens over the next few days if there's any catch up. But Disney shares from 153 to 79 to 116.35 right now on Disney. Now, I've talked about this many times on my program. Um, just keeping in mind fundamentally, right, where this stock is compared to the timeline of events that have occurred with Disney Plus, their streaming service. The details of that service get made public in April of 2019. They come out with the pricing of that product, which I believe is $6.99 or $69 a year, so $7 a month. You can bundle it with Hulu and Disney for, I'm ballparking, I forget, and I should know because I have it, folks, I have the bundle. Uh, pretty remarkable, it's $13, $14, $15 a month, I believe, something like that. Um, the market loves the pricing, stock accelerates higher. It goes live in November of last year, Things go fairly well, a few glitches the first day. Uh, they start reporting how the numbers came in, immediate signups within the first week or anywhere prior, big numbers to 153. COVID concerns begin, you trail off a bit, and the market falls out of bed to about 79. We've had updates since then. The last update in May, they came in with about 54.5 million subscribers, and we've settled in between about this 110 to 120 range in Disney. You see the spike here back going to May. I believe that was having to do, now this is weeklies, maybe with that update that they had about subscribers, 54. Uh, originally, when they first came out with this information in terms of Disney, maybe some reasonable forecast that executives, Bob Iger, still the CEO at that time, putting out, was they hoped to have 60 to 90 million subscribers by the year 2024, 60 to 90 million. Pretty good goal. Uh, 
they are probably going to be in that range by the time they come up with their numbers this afternoon. So a remarkable acceleration, but Max Payne, it might be too early. We'll see because the market, uh, it doesn't get much worse in terms of the parks business, the movie business. In 2019, I believe Disney took in, they had 10 different movies that all were billion dollar blockbusters. 10 different movies, I think, something like that. So to have that disappear overnight, to give the bear side of it, that is substantial, folks. In the long term, Disney is going to be a great investment. You're getting in pre-information of knowing about Disney Plus in a world where maybe they were going to have 60 million subscribers in four years from now. And if you can handle the short-term volatility that is bound to happen, they're going to come out of this. The parks are going to be open. Movies are going to get made. We're going to be back in movie theaters. You see Facebook buying space in New York to get ready for people back in offices. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned, folks. Be right back in three minutes. See what else we have on tap for Tuesday trading. Stay tuned. Be right back. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006. And like many of you, was drawn in by, as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of tfnn.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. S&P is negative by 15 points, 3273. You're seeing a little bit of a drop off even in the last few minutes. We got a five minute bar up there. We're a size about 3277. We're about four points lower right now, 3273. What else we have on tap? So we cover that we have Disney earnings going on. Other companies with earnings this afternoon, you're going to be waiting for Beyond Meat. Look at this acceleration in Beyond ahead of their numbers. 
We were just at on Friday 122. You're trading at 138. Yesterday, you go from 128 to 134. We're going to open about $4 in the positive on Beyond as they await their numbers after the bell tonight. We get Activision Blizzard, as I mentioned, was higher to 89, currently trading 86.67. The video game maker, we get Planet Fitness, the gym company wonder how they will be affected by what's going on match group online dating maybe everybody's been online dating uh, or at least communicating online while they're sitting at home we also get win be interesting to see what they have to say in terms of casinos macau and everything affected in there of course all right jumping around to what else we have taking a look at some of the commodities crude contract 4027 we're a size about 41 and 4125 overnight crude holding up pretty well at this 40 dollars range right you back things up that gap dating to about 4105 you can see how we are just hovering right at around that level of 4027 currently gold contract reacting well gold let me back this bad boy off Quite the acceleration for gold up to 209 yesterday, holding right near those highs right now on gold at 1989. All right, what else we got going on? Some of the companies even tomorrow that we'll be looking for. You have Roku coming up tomorrow with their numbers, Square as well. Square, one of the companies benefiting tremendously, down to 32, and we're going to open above 135 today on Square shares, Roku shares. I bought a couple Rokus for myself recently from 58 to 161. Our man Dave White saying, how do they make money beyond selling the units? Uh, I'm not particularly sure, but I like their product and the market seems to like it as well. 161 for Roku. Stay tuned, folks. Should be an interesting day in the markets. Larry Pesavento, he's coming up live next. Live programming all day at TFNN. We'll be right back.